Hello, in this training video we're going to take a look at how to change the location of a log file or even the database file if you want in X3. Uh, you can move these to different locations without trashing your entire system. Um, it's kind of simple but you got to know exactly what to do. So the first thing to do is um, identify where the log files are. You may already know in your file manager but if you run this statement, um, it will show you exactly where the data and log files are. So you're looking for the MDF and LDF. I've already done this. Um, I had the log file here on, on this server, and um, I've since moved it. So, all right. So, um, so this is the file here. So you can actually you know, grab these, copy these if you want, put them somewhere here. Just so you have them. All right, so your next step is to actually move the log file. So in my case, I wanted to move the log file to a separate drive. So if I Go into my file explorer. I will see on this drive I wanted to create. I created this log file. All right, so here's my x3 underscore log. So this you have to move this from the initial location that's identified in the in the management studio here. Okay, so in our case it's showing it. It is already there, but. Um, it was in this location on e sage x3 database data. Okay, that's like a default location. So you actually just you can cut and paste or even copy and paste um, to the new location, and um, that'll be fine. Now the next step is you have to get permissions on this directory. All right, it's very important that you give. Um, your service accounts used in SQL Server won't have permissions for this account. Like, you can give all permissions for all users and it still won't work. When you go to reactivate it, you'll get an error. So what you have to do is you have to go into services and you have to identify any service accounts that SQL Server is using. So you see here, SQL Server and the agent, you want to add both of these. Um, just to be safe. Um, you really only need this one, but it never hurts. Um, like if you're, let's say, doing a, an automatic backup of the log files, you want this one too. So this is standard NT service and a SQL, the dollar sign, and then X3 is the, the database name. So that's how these service accounts will already exist. So what you can do is go into here, just grab that, copy it, and you can do the same one for this account. You go to this directory, you look through the properties, security, edit, and you see I've already got these added here, but it's a little bit tricky to add. To add them, um, by default, it's going to um, try and add service accounts on the, in this example, on the domain, you have to change the location from the domain or entire directory to just the server name, okay, or it's not going to recognize that service name. So if I put that in there and I check the name, it will find it. If this location is, is on this domain, for example, then it will not recognize that service account. So um, very important. All right, so the next step would be um, to run these um, next SQL commands. So alter database to set offline. That'll take it offline. You just highlight it and hit execute or control R on your keyboard. The next will be alter database modify file name, your current log file which you would have captured from here, and then your new destination. And you can do the same command with the MDF file, okay? 
if you wanted to add a, another statement. And um, let's say this were, you know, x3 data. And, you know, if you wanted to move it to, we're not going to do this, but. So if I wanted to move the database itself, and I'd already copied it, this would um, basically reset the catalog in the system, and then you run to go back online again, and everything should work out fine. And that's the end of this video. Thank you.